Hi guys, and welcome back to Macaroon. Earlier this year, I made this video comparing different types of transparent squishy resin, which turned out surprisingly interesting. All the products are very basic, which means they only contain two liquids, and you have to do the measuring and mixing yourself. So for this video, I want to try out three new squishy resins, but these are designed as craft kits, so there's a lot more to review. This includes the viral Rainbow Jellies kit, which I've seen all over TikTok, so I'm pretty excited to see if it lives up to the hype. We're also going to take a look at the Jelly Res Jewelry Making Kit and Puni Gel, which is a similar product from Japan. So let's get started with Rainbow Jellies, and I really love the packaging for this. You even get a sample piece that you can touch, which is actually an extra cloud-shaped squishy. The box is like an advent calendar, and you have to pop out all the pieces yourself. This is a lot more fun than normal craft kits, where everything is just wrapped in plastic. However, some of the pieces are tiny, so I had to go back several times to make sure I didn't miss anything out. These are the most important components of the kit, which you can mix and match to create your own characters. You also get some hooks and hairbrushes for the finished pieces, as well as this small cloud squishy. An interesting thing I noticed is that the hair is actually made from needle felting wool. I've never thought about combining needle felt with squishies before, so it might be exciting to make some DIY rainbow jellies for a future video. So obviously, I am going to start with a koala mold. Choose the hair color you want and insert it into the face. The back of the face has two holes, and these should be slotted onto the spikes in the head part of the mold. I'm pleasantly surprised by the quality and level of detail in these molds, and they remind me a bit of Polly Pockets. Next we have the squishy gel packs, and you have to pop both of these and mix them for at least a minute. Pressing them open was very satisfying, but the mixing part was a bit weird because of all the packaging inside. It kind of felt like trying to mix two Tide Pods inside a plastic bag. Once you're done, insert the nozzle into the back and squeeze all the liquid into the mold. Then leave it to cure for at least 45 minutes with the bag still attached like this. Now we've got Jelly Res, which I'm guessing is short for Jelly Resin. The packaging is also very clever because it doubles as a storage box for your craft supplies. It comes with a lid and if you have more than one then they can be stacked on top of each other. I love this tiny detail because so many craft kits produce a lot of waste, and here you can reuse almost everything. This kit is the only one where you have to pour and mix the product yourself, however they've tried to simplify the process as much as possible. You get three mixing pots with a special divider that makes the measuring part easier. The ratio is 50-50, and you get plenty of glitter to add inside as well. I have to admit, I thought the weird mixing bowl was a bit gimmicky, but I realized that using a round paddle does combine the two resins better than using a stick. However, this contraption isn't perfect, so you do tend to get a few spills. What surprised me most about Jelly Res is how quickly it cures. The instructions said 15 minutes, but the mixture became too thick to pour after literally 2 or 3 minutes. I wanted to make a second color, but when I was done, the pink gel had basically solidified, which was pretty annoying because I've just wasted a perfectly good batch of resin. Another problem with this kit is that you don't get nearly enough resin to try out all the materials and molds supplied. I wouldn't recommend using the largest mixing bowl at all because you risk wasting a lot more product in case the resin cures before you can pour it. This is by far the fastest curing gel I've ever tried, and I think it might be deliberate for people who want to have instant results. Last but not least, we have Puni Gel, and I made a video on this two years ago that was quite popular. This is an interesting combination of the previous two kits, because it's intended for jewelry making like Jelly Res, but you don't have to pour and mix the resin yourself. These packets are more similar to rainbow jellies, and you just have to push the two gels back and forth to mix. This process isn't as easy though, because the packaging is a lot smaller, so your hands might be quite painful by the time both sides are fully mixed. If you plan on using stickers, be sure to apply a thin layer of transparent resin into the mold before placing them inside. This Puni gel one has tiny iridescent glitter inside, and I really like the effect. From my first video, I vaguely remember that Puni gel needs 24 hours to cure. 
I'm just going to double check this using the Google Translate app. Sure enough, there's a line here that says it takes about 24 hours, so don't touch it. So I'm going to leave everything alone and check back the next day. Starting with the rainbow jellies, once the resin is cured, you can simply remove the packets from the back. I was pleasantly surprised how well this turned out. There's a tiny bit of gel on the face, but you can easily trim this off with scissors. There's also an air bubble in the back, and I think it's because I didn't squeeze everything inside on my first try. However, on the whole, this has an amazing texture, it looks very cute, and I can totally understand why these are so popular. This is probably one of the funnest DIY kits I've ever tried, which produced the most impressive results. If I could complain about one tiny thing, it's that the colors aren't really glittery enough. You can see a few specks of glitter in the original packet, but these aren't very noticeable in the final piece. Next we've got Jelly Res, and this is definitely cured by now. I'm quite impressed by the glitter from this kit, because it doesn't look like much in the packet, but it has really good pigmentation and iridescence. You also have loads left over, so be sure to keep them for future projects. The final pieces look very pretty, but they're not that squishable. The thinner designs are a bit softer, but they're more like a gummy resin rather than an actual squishy. This kit has the highest learning curve because the resin cures extremely quickly, so you might end up with a few failed attempts. However, this is being sold for $12 on Amazon right now, which I think is amazing value. Considering all the stuff you get in here, it's definitely worth the money. Lastly, the Puni gel has cured and it looks identical to Jelly Res. I have no idea what they do to make one of these cure so much faster than the other one. The texture is also not very squishy, but more like a gummy rubber. Another drawback of Puni gel is that you don't get a lot of material, and the pre-mixed colors makes it harder to divide up between designs. I ended up using all of the clear glitter one because it was so aesthetic, and I feel the other ones just don't look as nice. So when making the thumbnail picture, I ended up pouring each gel onto a plastic surface. These hardened as well, so I thought it would be interesting to compare the textures. Jelly Res is actually quite brittle and it rips easily. Puni Gel is stronger but it's not elastic, so when you stretch it, it doesn't bounce back and it will eventually rip as well. The Rainbow Jelly's liquid was much thinner than the other two, however this was also the most flexible one. You can pull it really far, almost like pieces of a balloon. Of course, it does break as well, but most likely because this one is so thin. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it might inspire you to try one of these kits as well. I've included some Amazon links below, but I noticed that some are sold out because it's just before Christmas. So if you don't see them now, then try checking Amazon in a few weeks time and they'll probably get restocked. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!